this way. We're just looking for a way out. I recommend the door. Oh, oh, oh Lily Bell, we can't get out this way. Oh, you're not going to get away from me this time. Oh, I find this brawling very distasteful. You'll pardon the intrusion, miss. We have... Oh, no, you don't. This time I'm calling the shore patrol, and I'm going to have you two nautical nitwits thrown right into the break for the rest of your lives. Maybe I'd better go out in the hall and finish dressing. Oh, I'm sorry, Marge. This is the husband I'm going to tell you about, and this is the crumb that got him to join the Navy and the day we were married. No one wants to know about it except you two. So what? So what? With him pointing the number one turret for our ship, we can outshoot the whole Navy. And the betting odds against our ship are 15 to 1. That's now. Tomorrow, when the news gets out, those odds are going to drop right through the floor. And we got our bets all made, see? 15 to 1. Guess you imagine those suckers, when they find out the news, they want to pay off at 5 to 1. Isn't that a little underhanded? No. For them, it's high class. Why, you never want to bet in your life. Oh. What are you talking about? I'm so lucky that the horses put my shoes up over... Hey, Sam, look. Her husband's a doctor. You a doctor, Buster? No, I'm a friend of Mrs. Garvin and Dr. Garvin. I'm an insurance broker. Let's see your wallet. Arthur Ashton, insurance broker. Tough. Yeah, Arthur. I'll bet her husband's just crazy about you. Pasadena, California. Not even in the same state. Ah. Keep driving, Mrs. Garvin. Here's some money. Go into that store and pick up some food. And uh, get a couple of bottles for dummy, too. You go with them. Get three or four landings. You feel all right to watch one? Sure. What are we doing? Getting you a doctor. Dummy and his comic books. A lot of things in outer space. A couple of miles along here now, you're going to make a turn. Why don't you tell us something now? Where are you taking us? What are you going to do? All right, Arthur. You got to steady your nerves. We've been planning this break a long time, and it means a lot to us. A half a million bucks. We plan on everything, even the roadblocks. Since we can't get through to some friends of ours right now, we've got another spot all picked out. Where? You'll find out when you get there. Now shut up. Will the doctor be there soon? No, we'll need a few hours, but he'll be there. What's the matter with the car? Did they stop at that filling station for perfect? We're out of gas. Why did you tell me? We're not letting anybody say anything. How come you work on little paper in Las Vegas? Why don't you move to a big town? Supposing I said I like the country. I'd ask you why. Oh, there are lots of reasons. The people, the climate, and the country. You must be half lizard. You know the old saying, the West, where men are men. That's all we are any place. Where are you from, Daddy? Pittsburgh. You didn't like it? I don't know. I never got a clear look at it. Hey, look. This is really your day. Having trouble? Yes, I ran out of gas. Well, this is no place to do that. Hop in. slowly going out. They're out in Connecticut right now. Here, Orson, take this. It's a funny way to give a party. Hey, Frankie? It's a better setting for a murder. It's murder in Poland and a playboy's party in Connecticut. What a joint. Orson promised me something. Never be a playboy, Orson. It makes you prematurely silly. I ain't the type. I ain't premature. And I'd rather go home. But we have a human interest story to cover first. Get that heap out of here. Orson, 
horses. Run the car around the back and then bring the rest of the stuff in. It's a surprise party. Yeah, we know. Huh? I'm Miss Sage. This is Miss Connors, my assistant. We're from Mayfair Life magazine. What are you doing here? We came here to shoot the party. The shoot is too good for him. Oh, a philosopher. Who's running this function, Shamrock? There she comes. Snag a couple of double ones, make yourselves at home. Thanks, we don't drink on duty. It spoils our aim. Is that bad? Yes. Oh, I, I thought they'd send a man. You only have to press a bolt. Well, as long as you're here, press it. Frankie, put the big lights up there by the doorway. We'll catch the bird when he comes in with a surprise look. Bird? Bird? Yes, what's his full name? Oh, Thomas Rufus Collier. Well, I'm about three weeks late seeing you. But it's good to see you. How do you feel? Oh, how are you? Tired. Do you mind? Huh. Somebody stuck a stretcher in my hand a couple of nights ago, and I've been carrying it ever since. Mm. It's awfully nice to see you. Well, you look as if you've been through a lot yourself around here. I have. I've been without funds. Well, that's why you... Uh, I thought you'd have left here long ago with all this going on. Well, my jewels downstairs in the box. Hotel would let me have them. I don't know why, because after all, they are my jewels. Personal. Did you ever hear of such a thing? No. No, I never heard of such a thing. What are you going to do about that? Oh, I... Uh, I've got them now. <laughs> you see, they sent a sort of a credit manager or some sort of chap over to see the Baron. In jail? Yes, yeah, and everything's all settled now. <laughs> well, uh, how's his credit now? Well, it's very good. Yeah. Well, then let's eat and talk it over. <clears throat> all I wanted to find out was about the guy's credit. <laughs> Where are you going? Room service. Gas on the So bad. And what would you like? What would I like to eat? A, uh, a big, thick porterhouse steak, hmm, like that, medium? Mm -hmm. Porterhouse steak, medium, please. Yep. And uh, how about a green vegetable? Mm. Asparagus? Mm -hmm. Asparagus for two, please. Well, uh, hollandaise? Uh -huh. With hollandaise. And, uh, hey, how about some mushrooms? They're good here. Uh -huh. Yes, some mushrooms. And uh, well, what would you like to drink, coffee or tea? I don't care either. Uh, coffee. Yeah. Large, hot pot of coffee. Would you like something to drink after a vodka, brandy? Three of them. A boar and two cows. Good. And two may buona. And sui sana. He says he's a fine boar. I know what he says. When do we get going? We'll get downwind and work up on him. Time and MSI had the first shot. What? Oh, no, no, I don't want it. How correct you are, Mr. Johnson. No, I definitely don't want it. Come on, you'll do it marvelously. Bunduki, now, MSI. Come on, it's all yours. Now, take it easy. Just imagine he's a tin can in the camp. But he's not a tin can. Uh, hurry, I don't want to Shoot low at this distance. Careful, yeah, don't spook him. Now, just set them squarely in your sights. Freeze yourself and squeeze. Dearie, Perry, please shut up. Come on, hurry up. Will you shoot the... Come here. 
first. I told you I didn't want to do it. No harm done. Everybody misses. Me for my dick. I never claimed I was a hunter. You're the hunter. Yes, and you. <laughs> the great white hunter. <laughs> sure, sure. Come on, Annie Oakley. Have yourself a drink. <laughs> Don't let the master ride you. Oh, shall we get going? He took cover there. What do you mean, get going? Where will he break out, do you think? I won't go, and I don't want you to. I'm frightened. Well, you probably scared him half to death. There won't be anything to it. All right, then. If you're going, so am I. Oh, no, you're not, is she, Mr. Johnson? You married her. You're going to stay here with Simba. I was only having fun. Harry, don't you want to kiss me? Kiss you goodbye? Well, aren't you extravagant? You stay here and be brave. Simba, men side lie, haka, haka. 